Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we learn from this video types of foundation and footing and their uses. So what is the foundation? A structure is generally considered to have two main portions, superstructures and substructure. The substructure transmit load of superstructure to the supporting soil and it generally termed as the foundation. The load of superstructure is transmitted to the foundation or substructure through either column or wall. The purpose of providing a foundation to a structure is to distribute the load to the soil in such a way that the maximum pressure on the soil does not exceed its permissible bearing value and at the same time settlement is within the permissible limit. What is footing? Here we see an isolated footing picture. The footing is the portion of the foundation which ultimately delivers the load to the soil and is thus in contact with it. Okay. Types of foundation and types of footings. Foundations may be broadly classified under two heads, shallow foundation and deep foundation. Shallow foundation are classified as spread or isolated footing foundation, strip footing, combined footing foundation, strap or cantilever footing foundation, mat or wrapped foundation, and grillless foundation. Next, deep foundation. Deep foundation are classified as PR foundation, pile foundation, and well foundation. Here we see a flow chart, the classification or types of foundation. You can see a clear message from this picture. Uh, now we learn about about shallow foundation, the type of spread or isolated footing foundation. A spread footing or simply footing is a type of shallow foundation used to transmit a load of an isolated column or that of a wall on the subsoil. In the case of the wall, the footing is continuous while the case of the column is it is isolated stiff foundation this type of foundation are basically not used in subcontinent but uh, we defined it as it is generally provided for load bearing wall or row of columns are closely spaced it is also known as wall footing or continuous footing. Now combined footing foundation. A footing which supports two or more columns is termed as combined footing. Such footing is provided when the individual footings are either very near to each other or overlap. Combined footing may either be rectangular or trapezoidal. Strap or cantilever footing foundation. A strap footing consists of spread footing of two columns by a strap beam. The strap beam does not have any contact with the soil and thus does not transfer any pressure to the soil. Such footing is generally used to combine the footing of the outer column to the adjacent one so that the footing of the former does not extend in the adjoining property.
now we discuss about raft or mat foundation which is um, mostly uses in our, our subcontinent uh, bangladesh india or pakistan so raft foundation is very useful when the load coming on the soil is practically uniform while the soil is soft clay or reclaimed soil the method consists of providing rcc slab of suitable thickness and with necessary reinforcement the raft is designed in this way that the allowable bearing power of the soil is not exceeded if required slab and beam construction in rcc can also be carried out the raft is designed as an inverted rcc roof with a uniformly distributed load of the soil pressure and supported by wall beam and column if more than 50 percent of the plan area of a building gets covered by the combined plan areas of the individual or combined footing that needed to be provided it is usually more economical to make a mat or raft a raft is structurally rigid and when it settles settle uniformly as a monolithic entity now the final portion grillless foundation this is not used regularly it is not used in our country but it is a classification of cell foundation this type of foundation consists of steel or wooden joints arranged in a stepped manner it distributes the load over a large area a trench 90 cm to 150 cm deep is excavated and leveled then a layer of 23 cm to 30 cm of cement concrete 1 is to 2 is to 4 or 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 is spread and compacted the space between the i beams is filled with the cement concrete over this the second layer of i beam is placed as a rigid angle to the first layer again the internal space is filled with the cement concrete the wall is built directly over the grillless bed this type of foundation is used for heavy buildings such as factories town halls and towers now we discuss about deep foundation deep foundation are classified as c so here we discuss about the first one pile foundation the picture shows a pile foundation pile foundation is a deep foundation used where the top soil is relatively weak pile transfer the load to a lower stratum of greater bearing capacity by way of in bearing or to intermediate the soil through skin friction this is the most common type of deep foundation generally used for buildings where a group of piles transfer the load of the superstructure to the subsoil. Well foundation. This type of foundation is usually adopted in the construction of breeze and long span culvert or where the soil or quits soft and sandy generally in water well foundation are made to masonry or concrete pr foundation pr foundation is a type of deep foundation which consists of a cylindrical column or large diameter to support the transfer large superimposed load to firm strata below pr is inserted down to the bedrock pr has a footing pr is typically dug out and cast in place using formwork there are two types of pr foundation masonry or concrete pair to drill cation 
this type of foundation are basically used in bridge culvert and flyovers so i think you like my video thanks for watching the video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you